Hey everybody, welcome back to Smell Good Fragrance. It's me, Sean, TDS, Truck Driver Sean. All right, so today we are gonna go and do some, uh, these list. People are like, dude, do list. So I'm doing the list. I personally, I like to watch lists sometimes. I mean, there's some guys that do it really cool. Some guys do not. Me, I can't see where you're gonna benefit from me whatsoever, but fuck it, you hear? So, Let's do this shit. By the way, Black Craft Cult. Support that company. They're awesome. So, people would say, sense for the office. But really, how many people physically work in an office? Only about 5% of you motherfuckers? That's right. So we're just going to call it work sense. Alright? Daily rollers that aren't offensive. So right off the bat... When you go to work, you want, you want to smell good, you want to smell fresh, you want to smell masculine, of course. So, a good one to go for is F Black Palm by Salvatore Falao. This stuff right here, it is fantastic. I've got my cheat sheet. Sometimes I get the notes wrong, so I like to look, make sure I know what I'm talking about. It's just clean, it's fresh, it's a little dark, but not bad, but it's very fresh. You can get this like on the hella cheap, all right? Almost every fragrance that's in this list will be under $100, okay? So this is a 100 ml bottle. This can be had for $25 through discounters. That's right, go to FragranceNet, 25 bucks. And you're gonna get lavender, black pepper, coriander, labanum, and tonka. It's clean. And it's kind of like smells like you're wearing kind of like a semi spicy cologne. Straight, straight fresh out of a really good fresh shower, like you washed with like a Lever 2000 or something. Like you're very fresh and it sticks with you. It's got good longevity too. For 25 bucks, you're gonna get a whole work day out of this. All right? Can't go wrong. F black porom by Souder for a gamma. Kind of guess you can see the bottles, but apparently it needs to be up like this. So fuck it. We're just going to toss it back down on the bed. All right. You here. Next. Why? By Lacey own EDP. The EDT I am not a fan of, but this one here is super clean. It's got good longevity it's women love it this is a dual one you can wear this for work and you can wear it on a date like super simple you can wear it lounging you can wear it going out to have some drinks just with the guys just in case you do roll up on a chick bam it's really good it smells great it's youthful yet if you're my age 45 you can rock this stuff without being embarrassed you know it's very good stuff it's got a kind of a stupid looking bottle, but yeah, it is what it is. It's designer, not niche, but who gives a shit? I don't care if it's niche or designer. I have a lot of both. So you get bergamot, ginger, and apple right off the top, and it's a great mix. It really is. I have nothing bad to say about this. Sage, geranium, and juniper berry kind of give you that spice and then that sweet. As you come into your drive down, you get the vetiver, the cedar wood. Get a tonka bean to help keep it there. You got some ambroxan and some molybdenum. And it just, it works. You get a whole work day out of this, I promise you. And it can be had for about 60 bucks for this size bottle. I think it's a 50 mil. And really, at the end of the day, I know people are like, I need 100 mil bottles. Why? Really? By the time you start accumulating bottles, you never go through 50 mil, let alone go through 100. Don't be an asshole. All right, next on the list of doom, the one that nobody wants to see me pull out. <laughs> now, I'm gonna preface this by saying, I was not a fan of it. At first, it smelled good, but I didn't get good longevity. I still do not get good longevity, but I can get about six or seven hours out of it, and I can reapply it, because now, if you watch your sales, you can get it for under $100 shipped to your house. And that would be 
office for men at Jeremy Fragrance. His uh, Fragrance One channel. It Longevity for me doesn't last. I know a lot of people say it's nuclear, so as always, put your own nose on it, test it yourself. And uh, for those of you watching, this is my giveaway today. Not the whole bottle. I'm going to send you a decant. I'll go over how to do that at the end of this video. But uh, you, everybody knows I said profile on this because it was so hyped and people wanted to hate it. People wanted to try it. That's why I got it. It smells great. The longevity is the problem I have, not the scent. But it's hard to explain to people, but the concentration in this is so good. That's why I don't understand why I'm not getting any longevity out of it. You can't see the dispenser going down through it. It looks like it's not there. You have to like get get it just right to see it, or it, it looks invisible. That's a sign of a high quality fragrance. So this is a high quality fragrance. So you got uh, bergamot and broxen and iris on your top. Come down into some peppers, some paradisi uh, paradision, amberwood, and then it rolls into that must that locks everything in patchouli and a bunch of woody accords are jammed in there. And it just it really is. You know, just a great smell. Spray is fantastic. Ugliest bottle on the market. Cheapest cap on earth. <laughs> but this is a great, great smelling scent. It's good for work. It's good for play. It's very versatile. I don't know why they call it office. Because you could use it for a lot of different things. But anyway, that's what the giveaway will be today. We'll leave that bitch over there so we're getting right back to it. Next will be the... I believe the second cheapest on the list that is Don Hell Icon EDP. This just, I'm sorry, folks, but it might be a cheapie, but it smells great. It's not overpowering. The scent profile stays with you all day. And really, this could be had for $35. That's a big ass bottle. That's a 100 mil bottle. It weighs 9,000 pounds. Worst case scenario, if you don't like it, you use it as a weapon. No, treat like a grenade. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Baka chaka that motherfucker. All right. Cool beans, but the scent you get in Icon, it's pretty busy for a cheap fragrance, which is kind of, you know, you get into cheap fragrances, you see like a lot of stuff that doesn't, you know, words that don't even make no sense when you see the note breakdown, right? But the thing is smelling here, you know, you got that, a great Neroli, you got the bergamot, you got peppers, and you turn around, you got... Uh, lavender and cardamom and sage. Juniper berries are so sweet that it kind of, at first, it's a little strong, but then it, it dies down. It's not so sweet. You get the iris and the leather, the vetiver and the oud and the oak moss. And it's just very masculine. It's almost like a, a good marriage between a fougere and like a modern all-day fragrance, like a blue fragrance. It's kind of a, a good marriage between the two. And, you know, for $35 for 100 mil, it's amazing at that price point. I'm just going to, you know, throw it out there. So last but not least in my list of five work fragrances, we're not going to call them office fragrances, is if you are the boss or you want to be the boss, that right there, that gets the attention of anybody you come across, anybody you watch. That is Mr. Burberry, E-D-P. All right, this is so good. It's fresh, it's dark, it's masculine. It it smells smells like your boss. You know, it just it smells like the guy who can afford a three hundred dollar bottle of bitch bait. It costs you fifty bucks for a hundred mil bottle. It's pretty cheap, right? So yeah, Mr. Burberry. Awesome stuff. Cinnamon, tarragon, cardamom, grapefruit right at the top. And then it breaks into lavender, cedarwood, nutmeg, and birch. And it rounds itself out with amber, patchouli, and vetiver. It's just masculinity in a bottle. $50, 100 mil. Great price. It's good for work. You can use it for dates. I even have gone out. Like on the town to raise holy oh hell wearing this stuff and people love it compliment factor for this is through the roof 
It's just good stuff. All right. So that's my five. Five work fragrances, son. All right. So we had Office for Men. You can have that for about 90 bucks if you watch the sales. Jeremy has kind of given up the dream of getting $200 a bottle for it. And at $90, I will say it is worth it. Okay. Sorry, folks. He made a great fragrance, and his date night fragrance is phenomenal. The Y EDP, you can get that for about $60 for a 50 ml bottle, which is plenty enough for that. It's good stuff. Super versatile. Icon EDP. That, you know, 35 bucks. It's great fragrance. I'll never say it's not a good fragrance. And it's cheap as hell. <laughs> you know? Mr. Burberry, we just talked about that a few seconds ago. As we know, I'm a big fan of that one. Probably the most complimented fragrance that I have in my collection. And F Black by Salvador Ferragamo. That $25 kind of kicks ass. And it lasts a good long time. So, honorable mentions. Because people love honorable mentions, right? Don't worry. We'll get to Office for a minute in a minute. How about the giveaways, man? I'm going to the giveaways. So this bad boy right here, Mercedes-Benz Intense. Great for, for the workplace. It's fresh, super clean. It's blue, it's peppery. It's, it's just a great fragrance. 20 bucks through discounters for a good size bottle. I don't even know what size this is. I'm gonna say it's 100 mil, pretty close. If not, it's 100 mil, it's a 75, so. It's good buy. 20 bucks. I mean, come on. I'm not going to really bitch about it, right? Trust Dairy Black Extreme. This is just kind of like that. It's like a throwback fragrance in a way. It's fresh. It's a little green. It, it smells a little grown up. So if you want to go to work and you don't want to smell like some punk young ass bitch, there you go. Longevity on it's really good too. And the bottle just, it, it's kind of like a dope bottle if you think about it, all right? You can have this for about 40 bucks. So that's not bad. 100 mil bottle. <clears throat> and last but not least for the honorable mentions. I was going to put this in the list, but it, it's kind of along the same line of the Burberry. So I didn't. And that is Giovanni Gentleman Only. This right here is a banger, son. And you can buy a 100 mil bottle of this for about $45. And it's good. Uh, it smells comparable to a lot of niche fragrances and high-end designer fragrances that you'll spend a hundred and something dollars for. It's sweet. It's almost gourmandish. But yeah, it's got like a, a little bit of a cigar note in there. And a little bit of a booze note. It, it's just, and it's got peppers. It, it just, it's good. I love it. It's such a good fragrance. You should definitely put your nose on it at some point. Gentlemen Only by Giovanni. All right, so now to the brass tacks of it. Office for men. I'm going to give away a decant to this. All you have to do is be a subscriber of my channel. Down in the comments, tell me why you'd like to try this. And as always, if you own a bottle, what are your thoughts? We all know, you can watch my review of it if you go through my videos. We all know what I think about it. The only complaint I have is cheap cap, longevity problems. But most people get amazing longevity out of this. So it could just be my skin and the way it reacts with me because fragrances, they don't act the same with everybody. So when you get the you listen to these reviewers, always try it yourself. Don't go and blow a hundred dollars on a bottle. For God's sakes, don't go buy a bottle of Cree Aventus and someone's like, oh it smells good, it's worth five hundred dollars. Well fuck you it is. Wow, it's a stuff you can get that smells a little bit better, that's kind of the same. It way lower prices. So don't spend five hundred dollars on Creed. Fuck those guys. I got them because I found the same trap as everybody else. Oh, everybody's like, gonna try Aventus. I got it and I was let down. You know, fuck Aventus. There you go. Told you what to do to get yourself a sample of this. And I don't pick the winner. Google does. It's a randomizer. I put everybody's name in there. It shuffles it around for a little bit and spits a name out, and that's who gets it. The only way that person doesn't get it is if they've gotten one recently. I will 
knock them loose and go at another one again because people ask me where I get my clothes which I think is weird but okay because you can fucking read Black Craft Cult go check them out they have awesome clothing they give me nothing I buy all my stuff why? because I fucking like their clothes I can't be bought son I'm too arrogant for that shit <laughs> anyhow catch you all later subscribe to the channel man Subscribe to the channel. Later.